Well, with respect to art advocacy through my, uh, our art and everything, I, given the fact that we practice different types, I think we really need to uh, dig within ourselves, see our own political, our own political voices concerning the African and Canadian experience, and showcase that through my art. So consequently, the advocacy through my art, I'm a visual artist, I create uh, images, positive images, focusing on the black experience. So I feature four or five different people each year, and I circulate it across the country. And I've been doing that for 28 years. So consequently, it comes from my own experience growing up in the Canadian school system where I didn't see positive images of black people. And the only times that you see in black people were during their enslavement, then there was a 400 year jump, and then suddenly <laughs> Martin Luther King, and then we disappeared until Barack Obama came along, <laughs> right? So I was kind of wondering where, the, where we went during those gaps and everything, you know? But it's, it's really our duty as artists and black people to advocate, period, whatever genre, whatever, whatever uh, endeavor that we're doing, and especially through our art, right? It's not, we don't get a buy because we're an artist and we just want to practice our art. It should be demonstrated of our experiences, whether it have a political edge to it or not. It's still political because it's talk at each individual person. They don't have to be focusing on Harriet Tubman, but they're just expressing their, their opinions as a black person. That's something that we've been not denied in, in this country and historically. Mm, thank you so much, Robert. Thank you.